that it is. So today, this entire episode is brought to you by Maria Medina uh, with Minuteman Press on Northeast 4th Avenue in Wilton Manors. Um, I think we have a commercial because Mar- a little video that Maria did for us because she did this um, amazing thing. She created these masks for us. So, Brittany, can you run that for us? Hi, Team JK TV. This is Maria Medina with Miniman Press Wilton Manners. We, we design, print, and promote you. And this week, we've been promoting Team JK with Compass. We've provided them some custom masks, like the one you see right here, which is Miniman branded. And we also had kids' versions. So, if you need anything COVID related, think of us, Miniman Press. Maria can be reached at 954-731-5300, and uh, their location is on Northeast 4th Avenue in Wilton Manors. They do lots of great work. They do a lot for the community. If you can support Maria, that would be a, a, just a phenomenal thing because she does a lot for the community. So just wanted to make sure we give that shout out to her. Um, we have a lot to cover today in a short period of time, so we're going to get right to it. For those of you tuning in that are in the market for properties and uh in the real estate market, we're bringing you four great options from the Team JK uh, inventory. We've got 2001 Southeast 26th Avenue in Fort Lauderdale, 3503 Oaks Way, Unit 514 in Pom- Pompano Beach. We've got 1632 Northeast 5th Court in Fort Lauderdale and 720 Northeast 15th Street in Fort Lauderdale. Um, before we get to those, though, let's go over a quick uh, little re- residential real estate roundup here in Broward County. From last week, we've seen two positive things um, that we want to just highlight. Um, the active properties and the pending, there was a slight increase from last week to this week. So that's uh, um, good news. And then um, there's a slight dip in closed sales, uh, 213 over the last seven days. But still promising news. Business is still happening. All good stuff. So. Let's get down to the properties that we want to highlight. Um, we have Jonathan Keith with us today, of course. He's the one that brings us the JK and Team and Team JK. Um, Peter Rivers and Adam Eglin are going to be in the hot seat today. We got Brittany Cartwright, who is always uh, keeping us together. So she's running things in the background. And the technical difficulties, I just have to reiterate, are not Brittany's fault. It is the equipment, <laughs> not the user. So do not uh, think that it's Brittany. And then I'm your host, Derek Lee. So without any other uh, time taken from you, uh, Jonathan, can you tell us about 2001 Southeast 26 Way, please? I am ready to go. Okay, so here we are. Thanks for uh, coming in and, and joining us. This is, this is right here in Harbor Beach in a subdivision called Breakwater Surf Club. You can see how close it is to the intercoastal, the port, and the ocean. And as we zoom in on the home, look at this pie-shaped lot. This is about a 10,000-square-foot lot. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath, 1,255-square-foot property living along with a carport. You know, everything has been done moderately within, you know, the past 10 years. There's a few things that could be done. Or this could be the perfect lot for a luxury home where you're able to watch the cruise ships as they come in from the port. Literally, you can walk right out your door and you can see them. Um, You could do a full-blown addition to this property and have another 2,000 square feet. You've got the total room in the back. And um, and it's 798,000. You can't go wrong. This is the ultimate neighborhood in Broward County and specifically in Fort Lauderdale, being in Harbor Beach and Breakwater Surf Club. They've got their own uh, country club. They, They have their own little um hoa uh that you're able to enjoy they have their own pool and you can literally walk to a certain slither that allows you to get right out to the private beach um so it has actual beach access so you're able to see look how the um the 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 line there's treed and walled for the property itself and then there's the port so literally you can watch the cruise ships just come right in they tower over this neighborhood, 2001 Southeast 26th Avenue. You can reach me, details, Jonathan Keith, 954-709-9742. Come out and see Paradise for yourself. I will show it to you. Back Thank to you. Jer- Thanks, Jonathan. We really appreciate it. Adam, tell us about 3503 Oaks Way, Unit 514 in Pompano Beach, please. Absolutely. 503 Oaks Way, Unit 514. It's listing brought to you, uh, you by Joe Price and myself. It's a penthouse corner unit. 
And uh, upon entry, you're greeted on this beautiful mirrored foyer, which brings depth and light to the whole apartment. As you walk through, you see a large entertaining space, dining area, as well as a den that could be converted back to the third bedroom. Uh, there's floor to ceiling sliders that bring you out to the balcony, which overlooks one of the two golf courses. Custom mural painted by the current owner, and there's an additional storage space. The master suite is spacious. There's his and her closets and the in-suite bathroom. The bathroom's lots of counter space, a super large tub, and a full freestanding shower. The second bedroom is of generous size, and it's a full. Uh, there's also a full second bathroom just outside, as well as in-unit washer dryer. Kitchen's light and bright, has some stainless steel appliances as well. The area has security patrol, locked lobbies, two pools, and a grilling area. There's lots of green space, there's shuffleboard, and as I had mentioned, two golf courses. And for the ladies, there's even a community social group, a clubhouse, and I hear weekly bridge games. We're asking two ninety five fully furnished. You can call me at 305-240-80 AM or 2326 and uh, use showing time. So call me for a socially distant yet responsible showing. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Peter, 1632 Northeast Fifth Court. Tell us about it, please. So yes, if you're looking for a townhouse uh, east of Federal in Victoria Park, uh, you have a three and a half bath, three bedroom, uh, three story townhouse, uh, perfect for entertaining, big open spaces. On the second floor, you have uh, the two bedrooms, one master ba bedroom and one second bedroom. On the third floor, you have uh, another family living space with a big bedroom patio and the third bathroom upstairs as well. So it's perfect for if you're having some guests over, you put them up there and they have their own little private nook. Uh, some of the best public schools in the city of Broward County, uh, you're close to walking distance to Los Olas and to the beach. Uh, it's a minimal HOA fee of 165. Uh, that includes maintenance. They have money in reserves for roof and painting and things of that nature. Um, it's easy to show, it's owner occupied, so just use show assist and uh, the customers, my clients will turn on all the lights and open all the doors so you can take your clients in their easy access without with them having to touch anything now at this time as well. So if you have any questions, give me a call 925-922-2129. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Okay, so that's a townhouse and it's in Victoria Park, right? Correct. All right, thank you. Um, I have the pleasure of introducing to you 720 Northeast 15th Street, which is right in Middle River Terrace. And there's lots of things that make this an incredible uh, property. It's 961 square feet, two bedrooms, two baths. Um, but what really uh, jumps out to me is the pride of ownership that, that you find with this house. Um, you literally would just have to move in. There's two master suites, nicely updated kitchen with lots of cabinets, granite countertops, new matching uh, Samsung stainless steel appliances. We've got a separate laundry room, uh, an office for people that are working from home, and uh, a huge back room with room for a pool um, or entertaining when that can happen again, a detached garage for vehicle for a vehicle or extra storage. Um, and the location is incredible. It's uh, close to downtown. It's close to Las Olas. It's close to the beach. It's close to Wilton Manors, and it's all for $329.9. It is occupied, but my uh, the sellers will vacate the premises to uh, let people sh uh, see it. Um, so uh, just need to let me know. They asked for three hours of uh, advance notice. We also have a Matterport tour, so you can uh, tour it virtually 24-7 at your convenience. Um, and the best way to get in touch with me and to schedule a showing time or... Um, uh, to look at the Matterport, um, I can be reached at 954-706-6950. So four great properties in the Team JK inventory. We hope you check them out. Uh, any questions, we're here at any point in time. You can, you can reach us uh, via social media, and we shared our phone numbers. Um, our emails are available as well. So uh, Team JK is made up of 25 different agents, 25 different personalities, lots of strengths. Um, and today we're highlighting two of our team members that we have the pleasure of working with and we get to know them, but we want you to have a chance to get to know them. Uh, today we have Peter Rivers and Adam Eglin. You guys want to wave? Peter! Hey. What's going on? <laughs> All right. So we thought, you know, we, we, we know how you guys are entertaining. Um, that, that's the bottom line. Whenever we work around you guys, everybody laughs. 
can you guys just give us a background about uh, maybe a time that you guys worked together that that other people might find interesting? And uh, uh, let me let me help you out here. Um, Adam, you're the father of twins, yeah? Two babies, yes. Two boys, two glorious boys that will be two years old at the end of this month. All right, and, and Peter, we don't know how many children you have, right? I have no children at this point in time. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. All right. So, <laughs> I use Adam's work. babies as my own babies. Ah, glad you brought that up. That's what I wanted to ask you about. So we hear that pre-COVID times, you and Adam might have used Adam's twins to, um, I don't know, do some real estate. Can you tell us about it? Well, well, we we took them door knocking one day and when we were in Wilton Manors because Adam lives in the area. And for the most part, they pretty much thought that they was mine and Adam's children that we were using. And at that, they were both ours. But unfortunately, they were not. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have no problem uh, using my children to help gain business. I mean, they're two beautiful kids. Everybody just wants to like pinch their cheeks and just say how cute they are. So, I mean, what better of a marketing tool do we have than two beautiful babies, two amazing-looking guys, and walking around little manners with them? What can we lose? We hit every aspect possible of people that would be interested in us. So, of course, we're going to use the kids. No problem. All right, but I guess the ruse is up now. So, if, you, if anybody in Wilton Manor sees these two, they are not Peter and Adam's children together, right? We just wanted to... Put that out there. <laughs> Correct. Well, they, they're, they're my and Jamie's kids, but Peter is, could be considered a uh, second father to them. I let them All cause right. trouble. They like me a little bit more than them. I think Adam wins the COVID beard contest. Thank you. Yes. I like uh, to keep my trimming looking good, I not like Adam. To the top or bottom of my head since COVID started, and we'll just see how long this thing plays out. You know, Adam, uh, Peter, Adam, Peter told us that he has better hair than you, though. He well, has fuller hair than me. That is better. But his hair right now is definitely not better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let, some, let's learn a little bit about you guys personally. Um, Peter, we hear that you have a favorite artist, a favorite singer. You want to tell us who that is? Oh, yeah. I think, uh, I mean, I have a few, but if I'm assuming if you heard who I is that I would like, I guess it would have to be Ariana Grande. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite song by her? I mean, uh, I don't really have a specific favorite song because clearly all of them are my favorite. Uh, Peter, <laughs> I have to tell you, we had some friends over last night social distancing and having a couple of drinks, and we came out, we were playing with Phoebe out front, and one of our friends, uh, Jill, had this perfume on. I'm like, oh, my God, that smells so good. She goes, you know what? It's a secret. But um, I'll tell you, it's Ariana Grande's brand. <laughs> I never even knew that that's she so had that now. So that's that, a yeah. new thing that I hear. Yeah. But, no, she's my favorite. I love her. She just can't do no wrong. Her last two albums are the best albums out there, I, hands down. Okay. okay. <laughs> and if you all if you all were to be out at one of the uh the bars at Wilton Manors and an Ariana Grande song was playing, who would be the better dancer? Obviously Definitely Adam. Agreed. Adam I mean, dancer. I've been teaching my kids. We had a little dance off this morning. Um you can't you know, you can't compete with the best, you know. I just okay. wouldn't want to upstage Adam and distract anyone from Adam's attention, so I would just let Adam have his moment. I don't know. If if Peter got Adam's jacket, I think he would light on fire. <laughs> a whole new person. <laughs> Speaking of attention, Ad, Adam, don't you have an interesting middle name? Uh, I do. Amanda works as well, so, so I'll take it. I'm happy. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> That's really the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Except you wouldn't. You hated it when I would call you Commander at work. Well, <laughs> it was kind of weird. <laughs> like you really respected and appreciated my commanderness. Right. Okay. The camaraderie within the team. I love it. So cool. I love it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, we really appreciate you guys giving us a kind of a peek into your personalities and and. Uh, what it's like to uh to work with you because i know i know we all love it and you guys yeah. make it pretty amazing to come to come to work with team jk yeah so, I mean, thank I, you i got to work with some of my best friends like I, I love this team you know jk is a great team leader 
Derek, you're, you're coming really, you know, we're getting real close and, and you're warming up and, you know, I think we're going to be good friends too. But Brittany and Peter, you know, they're, they're my boys. They're, well, Brittany's Brittany, but, you know, they're my boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must say I have met some of my best relationships when I moved here that are on Team JK. So it's oh, well, been a very positive experience. Yeah, that's okay. good. That's that easy. Um, that easy. Yeah. Definitely not. One last, one last question for both of you guys. Can you kind of give us an idea? And this wasn't, we didn't talk about this question before, but um, just kind of give us an idea of why you got into real estate. Do you want to start, Adam? Oh, sure. Why did I get into real estate? Yep. Man. Honestly, I got into real estate because I did 10 years in like corporate America. I was managing uh, corporate hair salons with a corporation. I ended up owning my own for a while with sports trips. Then I went on to uh, be the GM for cartoon cuts. And then Hurricane Irma hit and everything closed for a while and i got my wife pregnant and then it's like wow <laughs> kids coming together like what are we gonna do so i decided i wanted to get a you know career which had like a little more a little more freedom I, I gotta say i probably put more time into this than i did in my nine to five but i felt like my expertise in management and marketing combined you know obviously with my charmingness you know it was a perfect fit for, for real estate and then i met jk and i was like looking into a year I was like, this guy that reminds me of me. And they say you should surround yourself with people that lift you up. And I don't think there's anybody more uplifting than me. I mean, JK. So <laughs> you know, here we are almost two, year, two years later. I'm on Team JK at Compass, and, and I, just, I just couldn't be happier. I'm just happy to be part of this team. Yeah, to see the happiness in a pandemic is really interesting. Yeah. It is. I mean, Peter, how about you? Well, so real estate's always been in my family. So I'm back in California where I'm from. My whole family does real estate there. So I was supposedly always going to do real estate, but then I fell into fashion and I started becoming, uh, started working in fashion in San Francisco and I kind of got stuck in that niche because I liked it and it was fun for me. But then when I moved to Fort Lauderdale, I figured I'd go back to the passion, what I was always familiar with and what I knew and uh, to get back into real estate. And so I studied there and how I came up with being on Jonathan's team is that one day I was uh, at the pop-up of the Humane Society where I was volunteering while I was studying for my license. And this woman comes in and she's asked me what I was studying for. And she was, I was like, oh, for my real estate license, but I'm not really ready yet. She's like, oh, my husband owns a brokerage, but it's for more established agents. But she goes, you should really meet Jonathan Keith. He would be really good for new agents to teach them and all that good stuff. So I was like, all right, well, that's good to know, but I'm not really ready for that point yet. And then as she's leaving, Jonathan happened just to walk by. And then so I, we introduced him to that, and that's how I got to meet him. Wow. And then when it was time to take my, I got my license, I ended up going back with him and interviewing with him. And I just feel like fate kind of brings those kinds of things. So I figured that was the team I should go on. And I've, he's taught me a, a lot ever since. So I, I'm very pleased with my decision. How many years, Peter? How long has it been? Uh, it will be two years in June. Okay. Interesting. Awesome. That's a great story. I, I mean, I was expecting all the kudos. <laughs> <laughs> well, kudos wouldn't deserve. I will definitely give them out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Jonathan, we we just came off of uh, a week where we had Mother's Day, so we want to shout out, give a shout out to all the moms out there one Lord more time. Sure. Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Happy Mother's Day. I hope everybody had an amazing, you know, Mother's Day for what the pandemic offered. Um, you know, it was a very relaxing day for, you know, myself and our family, um, Phoebe and, and Tracy. We, we, we just took the opportunity to, to chill out and have, um, we have a certain Italian restaurant near us um, that I won't say because I don't want anybody to crowd it and then we won't be able to get the service that we get over there, but it's really amazing. <laughs> And it's just nearby. So I plug a lot of restaurants, but I don't plug this one because I don't want anybody tearing it up over there because it's way too good. And I know that it'll get bombarded. Um, so anyways, it, so can I do the birthdays over there, Derek? We prep for that? or? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I got to run through. And, and, and this this format and platform that we've created has, has put us in a position to, to mobily activate and, and be anywhere – um, and, and bring everybody together, and I'm utilizing it. I'm actually here at the Bonaventure uh, Golf and Country Club. Um, I just got through finishing 18 holes, 
And let me tell you, I've never seen or been at a golf course. And I just want to provide some content for you guys to know. Um, Cause you know, we do sell golf course community or golf course communities. I love golfing. Um, I, I do it when I possibly can. It's, that's probably one of the one uh, games I play that I, that I'm very irregular about. Uh, but I got a chance to golf today and I have to tell you, nobody was on the course. It was absolutely empty. We were the only two. I golfed with John Kenny, um, uh, well-known commercial broker down in Miami, and um, and we got a chance to enjoy the golf course by ourselves, just him and I enjoying our relationship and and spending time together, and no golf, no golf cart girls, no cart girls, no food, no anything, um, bathrooms, lockdown. Um, it's really interesting, and hopefully that'll all open up on Monday. So, anyways, let me get into birthdays. Uh, Rob Solomon, come on, happy birthday, uh, Giselle Chimond, right? Stanley Rosen, ah, you know he's getting slammed with birthday calls and wishes. He's right here in in Weston as well. Um, Ted Peterson, hey Ted, out of um, Myrtle Beach. John Carroll, Jason Lewandowski, Stephen Crevier. Heather Abersher, um, I might have I might have brutalized that last name there. Amy Hooper, all right. Ashura Khan, happy birthday. Tracy Flatman, uh, Mimi Stroud, Neil Dewan, Jack Miller, uh, Meredith Spira, Mike Ramey, and uh, fellow Rotarian and Lynn Hefner. Um, so those are our happy birthdays. And, um, you know, something I wanted to mention to you, you know, people are always wondering what you know, our update is and what our thoughts are on what the incoming market is. So Derek, do you mind if I go ahead and push into that? No, please. That's, that's the last bit, what we're going to talk about. You know, if you notice, like what Adam had said about Irma and creating a different path from him from the corporate world and going in and he had uh, twins or, or had consummated twins at that time and then decided to go into real estate catastrophes create movement and what we're seeing is a lot of activity from up north and internally we have a lot of people asking and starting to look at properties that have a pool because they have had to wear through this COVID without a pool with their kids and that was not fun to them um, we have a lot of move up, move down situations where either they're wanting to liquidate or they're wanting, or the, maybe they've had a kid situation or they're having a baby since they've been home. And we have, we're, we're, Florida is well known for hurricane babies. So, um, you know, just like, you know, Adam's situation, he's got twins out of it. Um, we have, we're going to have COVID babies where kids, not with COVID obviously, but, you know, had <laughs> been in a stay at home position set to confirm that because you know they could get spiraled um have, have been home long enough where you know things happen um as far as neighborhoods we're getting people saying hey listen it's time for us to shift into a different neighborhood and you know the interest rates i'm seeing interest rates below threes in a 30-year fixed okay that's unheard of we breached that about two months ago, and it was so fast. It got there in the, in the high twos, and then it disappeared, and then it went right back up into the mid threes. Now it's back, and it looks like it might be around for a little while. So this would be the chance. I know you see a lot of agents and, and brokerages throwing the whole low interest rate game out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know of a, of a time in a lower interest rate scenario that has been a better time to actually buy in that position. Um, we're taking and actively taking on inventory. And as you can tell, we're using this platform to um, get out as safe as possible. Um, our virtual tours and, um, and, and I think Adam and, and Peter did an excellent job exposing and Derek, excellent job exposing for the sellers of their properties the maximum representation their property can possibly get during a pandemic. And I think that that's the most important thing that we're following right now is following appropriate protocol and procedures to do what's safe for our customers 
and provide the service that they deserve. And that's why Team JK is as strong and successful as it is. That being said, guys, I'm, I'm doing, um, having great times here. We're doing bike rides. Um, we're going to start doing a team bike ride every other week just to bring, you know, and, and create that camaraderie um, within the team. You know, I always have to keep, um, keep the composure of the team and, and, and enjoyment factor. Um, and, and obviously we'll, we'll push forward. It looks like we're opening up next week. So back to you, Derek. Thanks for having us guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a part. Thanks, Jonathan. I, you know, I just want to reiterate one thing. Um, I, I think it's a good time to talk about really quickly. Uh, Floridians are kind of uniquely positioned, I think, in, in terms of being prepared and, and adjusting to things like this, maybe when compared to other parts of the, of the country. And I think this is a great time to talk about why this is um, a phenomenal place. I, I can't imagine being quarantined any other place and then adjusting to the circumstances that have been presented. And I think you guys would all agree. Um, and if you want to add anything to this, just wanted to throw out, I mean, if we have, if we have hurricanes, excuse me, I should say when we have hurricanes, we learn, we, we have to deal with it. I mean, it is what it is. We may not have power for several days. We may yeah, not have not, AC. Not, yeah. We're, it, built, we're, we're built for this. Yeah. And the, and the community is what brings it back. And so, Part of what we're doing with Team JK TV is highlighting the community. We're highlighting the the, the, the property here. And we understand that the, the way to get things going again, it kind of rests with us as a responsibility. So, that, you know, we're, we're doing our part. And uh, if there's anything we want to, you know, leave anybody, leave everybody with is we, we all got to do our, we've all got to do our part. So any, you guys want to add anything to that? Get a generator. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and get a generator yeah. and get a generator so we won't yeah. take any more of it in anybody's time then because we yeah. do, we do have a lot of work to do and we know that you all have work to do as well so um thanks for joining us we you can tune in again next wednesday at 2 p.m for episode six you can catch us live normally um when zoom is working um uh, via facebook and you can reach us on facebook.com forward slash Jonathan Keith on Instagram at Team JK Real Estate and, of course, on our YouTube channel at TeamJKTV.com. So we really hope you join us next week. Comment, even like the video, because we know we had, some, we had some rough spots, but we made it through, and uh, we look forward to seeing everybody next week. All right, guys. See ya. Thanks. Thank you later. Take care. All right.